Hi, I'm Tori Bruno, President and CEO of United Launch Alliance, and I am here in the Valor Room in our Operations Center in Colorado. This is the Vehicle Ascent and Launch Operations Room, and I am surrounded by these great rocket scientists who are monitoring our vehicles during a launch for a crewed mission. So they're the eyes and the ears of NASA's mission control. We'll do this both for the Starliner missions and for Artemis. This is a really important function to make sure those crews are safe, where they're monitoring all of the data, all of the systems, and reporting that back to mission control. And of course, for our upcoming Starliner mission, that is a very unique and cool mission for us. A totally different kind of trajectory for us and for Centaur, where we actually fly without any blackout areas where a crew would not be able to safely abort. And in fact, our only really suborbital trajectory where we take them up in a very flat kind of path. That's why we need two RL-10s, the extra thrust on our Centaur, and that would also not only provide this ability to abort, but also drop them off with the ability to do a free or gravity return to the Earth at the time we separate. So go Atlas, go Centaur, go Starliner.